Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video and as I said, I'll be back soon and here I am. So in this video, I will show you how to deploy your Realme device or any Realme UI that you have with the two techniques and to know that, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so as you can see on your screen, there are two files which is already given in the description. You just need to download it. Now, the first one is the setup which you need to install. Okay, it will not install in the directory but uh, in the C drive, but it will install in download. So keep that in mind. You need to select OK, next, 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 and install. Okay, nothing else. Now, once you are done with that, you need to go to downloads and search for the folder. Here it is ADB app control. Now, in this folder, everything is there. You don't need to do anything right now. You just need to press Windows and search for ADB app control and you will get it right it is same thing which is here right now so you just need to double click on it and it will say connect your android device all right now i'll just full screen this device and i'll connect my phone so you guys can follow along okay now as you can see i have my data cable over here and now i'll uh, connect my device so okay i think you guys can also see my screen now okay let me connect my device now so now as you can see okay USB connected and over here ADB app control is loading okay now what this is this thing is saying install AC bridge so AC bridge is the uh, application which they will install in your device to get the package names and access and uh, all those things okay they will not do anything else you just need it for one time okay so just click on okay so you need to see this attention as well okay on some device you need to enable this install via adb option in the developer menu okay now for this if you haven't done this okay let me show you in my home screen so if you go to settings and in uh, additional settings developer options okay if you don't know how to enable our developer options then there is a simple trick i mean i think everybody knows that right now okay go over here and in the uh, this thing build version okay version and kernel and on the build number click on the seven times that's it and in additional settings you will get this developer options thing now in the developer options you need to just enable this usb debugging and you are good to go right so that's the thing you need to do nothing else now over here i am clicking on yes it will install the application in my device now if you can see bridge launch now they will load it data loaded and they will refresh it downloading icons because they are setting it up okay now you have everything right now on your screen this is bit advanced thing so don't do anything stupid just follow the steps except that you can break your device as well okay so just do that things only which are listed over here nothing else okay please now uh, works on this apps which i have tested now as you can see all these things are right now on your screen on my phone screen and the four files four applications which are there which i think you don't need to remove because you might be using so these four applications are there file manager music photos and videos which we all use it right i i'm not uh, i have uninstalled every each and every app extra app so i'm not uh, using any other app so i'm using this only but if you want to use or uh, uninstall then it's up to you you can just google it how to remove those apps and you can do it but make sure these apps are disabled and nothing else okay disable these apps don't uninstall okay so one update the search application which is there which is causing issue whenever you are working with the normal launcher okay if you are working with normal launcher and selecting it so that will cause this kind of issue which i will show you at the uh, right now in your screen it might be visible okay so don't disable this app if it is disabled if you have disabled it then click on enable and enable it because it might break your device or it but i think it will break the one uh, particular uh, stuff which is working so if you are going over here and checking the search it will break and nothing will uh, work right so 
that's the thing now what you need to do you need to search the app market just go over here and search market okay now in the market you can see okay now whenever you search make sure you double check the package and the application name okay so the application name is here app market and the package which is com.hatapp.market or what you can do you can just go over here and search via package name okay just copy this and search the package name now what you need to do just select it and over here in the just below it's activate windows because I haven't activated this windows 11 but it's uh, saying select disable uninstall okay let me uh, make it right here so you guys can see okay now you will be able to see it um, all this stuff now as you guys can see there are two things select disable uninstall and save right so what you need to do just click on, on disable okay you don't need to do anything else just click on the disable and here the big button disable it will first pop up that attention removing system application may result in a failure of your device or reset to factory settings for my device it's working perfectly make sure you double check for your device it's not doing any harmful things right but yes i have tested it so i can say it's working for me now i'll click on yes okay disabled application one out of one okay and on your screen on the phone screen you can see this application is gone right now if you see over here there were one thing which was seeing hot tabs and hot games right that is also gone right now what you need to do you you can just go on the settings and if you remember there were a uh, few things in case of uh, application so if you go to app management in app recommendations now you will not get anything because the app market is disabled okay if you go to the app list and see this app market you will find it disabled right right you can also uninstall the data and work around but i'll say just disable it to nothing else right now do the same step for each and every application which is listed here now you will say the browser click on this select disable apply it will okay let me show you okay now on your screen yes browser is gone next clone app his clone app select disable disable now i'll i'll do this for each and every app which is listed over here okay and I'll see you guys after that. Alright, so I have uh, installed each and every app which is listed here. I removed search because it was uh, giving issue and I have also listed, I think I have said it in uh, earlier video, I will add that. Okay, so I have, un uh, okay, so I have disabled this all the applications and I have removed this search thing because it was causing issue in normal launcher. As I'm using uh, NOAA launcher, I don't have any issue with that, but you might face issue with that. So I have removed it and I think I have added that in earlier section of the video, right? Or I will add it. Okay. So yes, that's the thing. Uh, 
so this is from the pc your all the applications are disabled now if you want to check you can go to settings okay settings go to app list app management app list and you can find each and every app app disabled browser or you can say internet is disabled clone app is disabled finshare disabled make app cloud disabled oroming disabled team store and other right so each and every app is disabled from pc okay now i'll show you how to uh, make them useless using your phone okay i'll not be able to disable it directly from my phone but i can make it useless so to do that let me first enable those apps from here okay so if you don't know how to enable if you are getting any issue okay any issue with this thing and if you want to just uh, make things like how it was before okay so what you need to do just connect your device before uh, with your system and go over here in the enable section as you can see enable system users and disabled click on the disabled and you will get all the applications over here now if you want to enable any application then just go over here select i'll just unselect this and i'll uh, enable this all stuff right or or i'll just uh, enable this uh, clone app just enable clone app enable and it is enabled now as you can see in your device here it's a clone app right it's here now let me switch to my device and the full screen you can see what to do right okay so on your screen you can see clone app right now now what you need to do just go to the settings find digital well-being okay and over here you need to uninstall this uh, or you know just disable this app so what you need to do just click on the dashboard and go to show all 104 application now here you need to find your applications which is clone app now here you can see it right it's working right now now just go and set it to zero now the app timer is set for zero now as you can see you can't enable it this app is paused you can't do anything with this app now okay so you can't do much with your device because uh, it it will not allow you to whenever you need to disable or enable something you need to move to the pc but this is the best option what you can do from your uh, device uh, itself right so go to digital well-being and if you also go here and see it will say uh, it will start again tomorrow and if you go and check it in uh, app info it will be four stop okay i guess you guys got it now just a reminder don't uninstall any application just don't just disable it because it might cause your system break or anything you you can break your device and uh, and you will not be able to do anything except system or factory reset okay so to prevent that just disable it and uh, after system update or you can say after uh, factory reset you need to follow these steps again all right so as yes, that is it for this video i hope you guys liked it and if it helped make sure to hit that like and subscribe and if you have any questions then let me know in the comment section below i will see you guys in the next video until then this is nick signing off thanks for watching stay creative